Hi guys, today I have a different video for you guys and I know I have a lot of makeup on my face right now but that is because we are going to be taking it all off because I'm going to show you guys my foundation routine. And I know I usually don't do this, but I thought that it's been so long since I've done like a full face of makeup that maybe it would be fun to, you know, show you guys the products that I do use on a regular basis if you don't already read my description box in every video because I always list everything down there. But if you want to see how I get this face, then just keep on watching. So I always start off with a primer and today I'll be using the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. I really like this primer. It's kind of expensive though. so. I'm still on the hunt for a cheap primer, so if you guys have one that you really like, leave it down below and I would love to try it. I'm not really a fan of uh, like very silicone primers. This one feels more like a moisturizer, but when you put it on, it just gives your skin like a very smooth surface. And I just, I love the smell of it too. It just smells really fresh. So I'm just putting this up. I always start like in the middle of my face and then I pull it outwards because this is where I need most of the help with my pores and such. So I'm gonna wait for this to sink in just a little bit. And then for my foundation, I've been really loving the uh, Maybelline Fit Me 24 Hour Super Stay. Um, I usually use a brush to apply my foundation. I have like so many different brushes, but today I'll be using the Y6 by Morphe. This is by no means my favorite. It's just the one that's the least dirty. So I always start on the bottom of my face because this is where my problem area usually is, where I get a lot of my breakouts. So I just start off by putting on a decent amount of foundation, like I obviously want this to be full coverage and I also make sure to pull this down my neck as well. And this is like the only foundation I have at the moment that is pale enough for me, so that's probably also why I use it. And I normally use about two pumps of foundation, so this was just one. And now I'm going to go in with another one and I'm just kind of stamping this on the rest of my face before I go in and blend. And I'm sure a lot of you are like, why do you put foundation on your forehead when you have bangs? But I don't know, I just feel like... I need to have foundation and powder on my brows to be able to do my brows because otherwise like the products just won't stick properly so I don't know maybe that's just me but I've just kind of always done that and like what if it's windy out <laughs> and then your hair co goes flying and it just looks really weird if you don't have any makeup on your forehead so I don't know or maybe I'm just outside more than most people who knows so I feel like my base routine is like kind of boring it's really not that special like, I don't really do anything that people would go, oh, I've never seen anyone do that. But it works for me, and I feel like my foundation looks pretty good most days, so... I am kind of in a hunt for a new foundation, though, because I need another winter shade. I have tried this NYX Lightning thing, and it just doesn't really work that well. Like, you need to use so much of it to really be able to lighten the foundation, and by the time you put in, like, enough of this lightning thing, it's just like, it really changes the texture and everything of the foundation, so... Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that, so I need to get a new foundation that's light enough for me right now. Uh, for my concealer, I have like nothing left in this heart shape tape, but I'm going to use this today. And honestly, this one is a little bit too dark for me right now. So I am going to go to Sephora today and pick up another concealer. And I think I want to try the uh, new Too Faced one, because I've heard so many good things about that. And I'm taking a small brush from BH Cosmetics to blend this out. This is uh, brush number six, I think, from their marble set, and it's really, really good. And I always put a lot of concealer on my nose because sometimes when I apply my foundation, it doesn't really stick on there, so I make sure to get enough coverage on my nose so that it stays on the rest of the day. And I'm also not one of those people who really use this concealer to brighten because I don't feel like I have a lot of like dark circles. Maybe I do. Maybe I just don't really pay attention to it, but. I mostly just use it for a little bit of extra coverage and I feel like every time I do my makeup I always wear eye makeup anyway so like if I have dark circles I could just pull my eyeshadow down a little bit more and it covers it up so maybe I'm the only one who does that but it really does work so I'm not really too bothered with the concealer that I use as long as it doesn't crease on me during the day and it has enough coverage so I'm pretty happy so Oh, and if you're wondering what shade I am in the foundation, I'm using 112 right now, which is pretty much as light as I ever get. So I'm going to take my Cover FX powder. Um, I do have the Too Faced peach one, and I can't decide if I like it or not. I feel like it's not like, I feel like it's just too light. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, I feel like there's no coverage to it, even though this one is translucent too, but like, it just like feels too light on me for some reason. 
So I'm going to just take a dry sponge because I am lazy AF and I don't really like to go wet my sponges and if I wet them it means that I have to wash them so I'm just putting down a little bit of powder under my eyes and I'm not going to be baking for a long time I'm just setting right now and I'm going to pretty much dust it away right after and I'm going to take a big powder brush this is from Mato and I got this on Amazon and I'm just going to pat this onto my face. I don't like to use swirling motions until I've set it because I don't want to disrupt the foundation. I'm just going to wipe away the bake. Dipping into some more powder. And before doing anything else, I like to go in with some kind of a fixing spray. This is from Ofra. And I find that this really just helps to make sure that the powder sinks into the skin and it doesn't look too powdery and cakey. Next, I'm just going to go do my brows off camera because that's always what I do after I do my foundation and my powder, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the brows are on. For bronzer, I don't really contour. Uh, for bronzer, I'm going to use my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, and I'm using a big fluffy brush from crown and I'm starting right on top of where this line goes this is where I focus my bronzer because I have kind of a round face so so I like to try to make it look not as round just give a little bit more dimension and this bronzer is like the perfect shade for me in the fall when I'm really pale and I just have mine in the shade bronzer and I always start by applying it on top because I want most of the pigment to be closer to my hairline than the front of my face. And I'm also going to do a little bit just under my jawline. And I also make sure to blend this down my neck so it doesn't look like I have a stripe under my jaw. For blush, I'm going to go with a shimmery blush today and this is my Morphe 8C palette. So I'm first going to go in with this matte shade right here and then I'm going to top it with this and it's going to look really pretty. And I'm using a Japanese brush to apply this. I don't know if they sell this anymore. It doesn't really say what it's called, so I don't know. So I always start off by just gently patting it onto the apples of my cheek. But I always make sure to blend my blush into my bronzer because I just find that it makes it look more put together and like it's supposed to be like that. And I always kind of pull it up into my bronzer. And this is such a pretty like peachy orangey shade. I really like Morphe's blush formula. I think it's so good and it's so long lasting on me. And I like how it's pigmented but not too pigmented. It has just the right amount of pigment to it. I guess I'm going into that shimmery blush. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm focusing this mostly on the apples of my cheek, but I'm also pulling it up a little bit. And I also like to put just a little bit of my blush on my chin. I just find that it makes it look more cohesive, like as if you've been out in the sun. And I also like to put one just like right on the bridge of my nose. Like so. And before I do anything else, I like to go in with my hourglass finishing powder. I just have a mini. This is in the shade Luminous Light. And I'm taking this on my Morphe G7 brush. This is the softest brush in the world and I would really recommend you picking it up. It's so nice. So I'm just swirling this into the hourglass powder and I'm just going to start by buffing it over everything and just making sure that everything is blended nicely. There's no harsh lines and it just gives like a nice sheen to my face. For my highlight today, I think it's appropriate that I use the Anastasia Amrisi highlighter because this one is coming back in stock if you guys have been thinking about picking it up. I really like it. I think it's a great highlighter and it's just so versatile. Like I feel like I can use this with any look that I do. And I think it looks good on most skin tones. Now I will say in the winter it's a little bit too dark on me, just like a smidge, but not so much that I can't use it still. And in the summer it is absolutely stunning. Do you see how sparkly and nice that is? Yeah, I'm gonna put on a little bit of extra highlight today because I'm going to Sephora and doing some shopping and 
I want my highlight to be popping. And that is basically it. So I'm going to finish out with a little bit of setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last. Not sure how I feel about the spray, but I have it, so I use it. But I think it's pretty good. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. I'm going to do some eye makeup and such, and I'll be back to wrap up this video. So here is the finished foundation look with my eyes already on. I did film this, obviously. I will have a video up on it shortly. Uh, yeah, so let me know if you guys want to see me do more like face products and stuff like that because I know most of you guys know I usually prefer to focus on eyes because that is my happy place and I love playing with eyeshadows and trying on new eyeshadow formulas and palettes and stuff like that. But if you want to see me test out like more face products, let me know. And if you have any requests, also let me know down below. So that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.